Lalit Man Singh. He's India's former foreign secretary and ambassador to the U.S. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Are you seeing more evidence of people looking to India to invest? Because they look at Europe and they think, my goodness me, what a mess. They look at India and see 8% growth. Yes, of course, because uh, India still represents one of the fastest growing markets. Uh, and India's economy is going to expand for the next 50 years at least uh, because of you know, the fundamentals, uh, uh, a large percentage of youth in the workforce, um, fantastic expansion due to take place in infrastructure. Uh, India will require more than uh, a trillion dollars worth of infrastructure development. So it's a good place to invest in. Now, you're here for the UK-India Business Council, and part of, the, uh, of this process is making sense of the labyrinth. That's now, right. in India, it is a labyrinth. How do you start to invest in India? Because, goodness me, there are barriers there. Well, uh, let me make it clear. I'm here for this uh, UK, IBC, and APCO International. We've joined together in, in organizing this conference. Sure. Uh, the word labyrinth is intended to provoke. It's not actually a description because India has simplified its procedures since the economic reforms of 1991. But you can't just go into India and say, I've got all this money to invest and off you go, yes, please take it. I mean, there is bureaucracy, but, we all know about that, in various levels, at the state level, at the corporate level and so okay, on. Okay, here are two types of investments coming in. The FII, the foreign institutional investors, they have no problem. Mm -hmm. They can come in with their money and so on. The foreign direct investments, they are a little more complicated. There are uh, uh, regulations of the center, regulations of the states, but we are seeing more and more uh, foreign direct investment coming in because the market is so huge and is growing. And mainly from where? Are you seeing it from Europe? Are you seeing it from China or is it really global? Well, the biggest investors so far are the United States and European countries like Germany, France, Britain, but you also have Singapore and a lot of our investment is coming from Mauritius because it is rerouting of, of a lot of foreign investors using the Mauritius route. Do you have to be very brave to invest in India? No, I, I think you have to be smart to invest in India. You have in, to be in what, sm in smart in what way? Smart in one way uh, because you have to understand the country and every country needs to be understood. You can't just walk into a country and do business. But it's important to remember here is a market of 1.2 billion people growing at 8 to 9 percent a year with a growing youth workforce specializing in services. That means uh, people who are good in innovation and services. And uh, where else will you park your money? And, and when you're going into wanting to invest in India, presumably the best only way to invest is in joint ventures so you get that inside knowledge. Yeah, because you, you, the Indian entrepreneurs are amongst the smartest in the world. They work in the most adverse conditions and it's good to have a joint venture because you'll have a local partner who knows the local situation, can hold your hand as you get into it. But those who have come in are happy they're there. Do, uh, there are quite a lot of stereotypes and perhaps misconceptions about India as a country, but I have Indian friends and they try to get things done and they say, oh, you know what, oh, it's India. What can India do to change that image, do you think? Do you think there is a problem there and what does it need to do to make itself more marketable, I guess? Yes, it, a lot, lot is being done. A lot has been done, as I mentioned, since 1991. A lot of bureaucratic regulations inherited from the British Raj we have cleared <laughs> up and things are much better. But uh, uh, once you get there, once you sort out your regulatory problems, you get your land, start manufacturing, I think it's great. Um, Indian managers are amongst the best in the world. And what is, what is nice is uh, Indians are going out. We are having as much Indian investments out of India yeah. as foreign investments coming in.